absolutely incredible. It's a dream come true and just being around all these legendary performers is so humbling and just a gift. So I'm, I'm very thrilled to be here. This is absolutely crazy. Honestly, it's, uh, we're having an amazing time. I mean, just walking up here, the excitement is yeah, I can't can't really describe it. It's brilliant. It's and very amazing. exciting. It's amazing. I'm so honoured. It's, it's a amazing. dream come true, really. It's a it dream is. come true. It's amazing. It's like my dream. I was so excited. Yeah. What did... Really exciting. This is my first year coming to the Olivier Awards, so I'm I'm thrilled and really excited to be here. This is my first time at the Olivier's. It feels great. I'm a bit nervous. I'm presenting, so okay, which award are you presenting? I'm presenting Best Supporting Actor and Actress um, in a musical with uh, Diana Agron. Let's see. Shirt singer. Shirt singer. Obviously. Yeah. Um, would be phenomenal. Be yeah. phenomenal just to smell her, I think, yeah, yeah. in general. <laughs> Shamazing. Shamazing, obviously. <laughs> so, super excited, really excited. It was like quite kind of humble beginnings with Hetty, um, a devised piece of theatre, so everyone took a bit of a risk. So, to be here tonight and be nominated is really exciting. Well, for me, it's my first time, so it's like a party, you know, it's like a boy's dream. Because for me, the West End, I never even thought about having a production on the West End. Let be being nominated for seven uh, awards. It's not every day that you get an opportunity to be involved in a really great show with great people, and it's it's like everything fell into place for us. And uh, I'm I personally, I'm just happy to be here. Oh well, it's kind of mind blowing, really. It's um, it's something that's been sitting in my imagination for a few weeks now, and now that it's here, it's all. It's all a bit surreal, you know, but it's a lovely atmosphere. Uh, we've got blessed with beautiful weather. I'm just soaking it up and trying to enjoy it, you know. No, it's delightful. It's always nice to catch up with people. Uh, it's been a fantastic year for here. So I've actually, actually, I've seen an awful lot. I've seen, I saw the pie shop Sweeney Todd this week. Uh, just caught Maiden Dagenham and just caught View from the Bridge in time. Everything closing yesterday. Yeah. My night with Reg, absolutely fantastic. Just seen closer. Uh, you know, it's been a, it's a really good year uh, and some fantastic, exciting performances. Of course, oh, well, it's, you know, it's thrilling and nerve-wracking. I mean, we're very happy to be here. We know we're very lucky. You know, there's so much good stuff out there. So, you know, that your show is noticed and your performances are noticed. You know, you're in with in magnificent company. So it's you know, it's an honour. It is an honour. Well, I think this is Amazing. one of the nicest red carpets, if not the certainly. It's the longest red carpet. And it's the I've widest ever seen. red it's carpet. Enormous. And it's really nice that you know so many people have come along here, they've paid for their tickets, they get to walk up the carpet, and they get to be integrally involved with these productions that they never thought they would be. The audience, the love, the love from the audience, but also the love between us, the crew and cast and musicians and front of house and everyone. It was really charged, it was absolutely incredible, and it made me love it made me really understand why theatre is the most incredible art form. It feels like after, I mean the show's been on such a fantastic journey, it, it feels like a lovely kind of, it's just a lovely kind of thing to happen and to mark off what's been a wonderful, surreal and strange year for us. So it's been, it's, it's wonderful. I'm actually Honestly. quite surprised because View From a Bridge is an amazing design, uh, Made in Dagenham's amazing design, City of Angels wonderful design. So. I was sitting comfortable and I think I won't have to do anything. Amazing, about it. amazing. And I, 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 I've said it a couple of times already, but I, I genuinely didn't have any idea because I was so convinced that the others are so strong and they're such great actors and they're friends of mine that I thought it would probably go to them. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled and, and flabbergasted. And, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely award to get. I mean, Lawrence Olivier was someone I used to go and see at the Old Vic when he started the National Theatre, so to have him be on my mantelpiece would be very nice. It's great, it's, it's a privilege. You know, American musical theatre have invented the conventional musical. But Britain, over the years, Andrew Lloyd Webber, they, they took some of the thunder away. I'm still a traditionalist, I love all those old, old Broadway musicals. But it's great that British musicals come to the fore. It's wonderful, the things like Billy Elliot. It's a show that we still got it. I mean, it's just incredible to be doing something I love so much and to be awarded for that. I mean, it's, it's, I honestly, honestly didn't expect it. I really didn't. Um, there's a lot of big shows in that and I feel like we're a really kind of uh, smaller, I don't know, new kind of British rock and roll show celebrating a rock and roll band. And uh, I feel really, really proud to be representing that. It was definitely something that our 
creative team obviously hoped for to be recognised at the Olivier's, but no way did I think individually I would, you know, have this accolade. So I, I felt like I'd already won just being nominated, in all honesty, with three incredible women. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm very lucky. Uh, to me personally, it's an incredible honour to be a part of, of a musical at such a special time um, and to be in a show that has received the recognition from the audience, which is what matters. Um, so incredibly proud um, to be working with such a fantastic team and to be playing such an iconic role at such a special time is, is just, um, well, just incomparable. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> We're so honoured, it's so amazing. I mean, it, I think it was unexpected. Totally. <laughs> well, I'm sure the viewing public will be fairly reassured that it wasn't expected from our faces as we walked up, but um, it's so cool. I mean, yeah. wow. Ah, <laughs> I'm completely overwhelmed. Yeah, I, I, I really wish I, my vocabulary would, would support how wonderful I feel right now, but unfortunately the emotion's taking over. No, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. To be nominated in this category against other brilliant, brilliant people is incredible, and to win is... I can't believe I'm holding an Olivia award in my hand. And it's yours and it's got your it's name, got name on it. Name on it. Maybe even spelt it right as well. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I, um, I can't really believe it. Um, I was too many people to thank and I, and I don't think I managed to thank everybody for the opportunity to really play this role. It's, it's been incredible, you know, for me. And um, to play Carol King, you know, she's one of my idols. So this is just immense, you know, to have this as well is such a, an amazing bonus to that, you know. It's clearly a testament to how great this show is, is that the, the, the Olivier Salt members voted for us. Thank you very, very much. All of you. Thank you. Thank you.